Hi Leos! Welcome back to your um, general reading. This is going to be for the month of May. Um, for Leo people, wherever you just feel like you resonate with Leo more, this is for you, but I do warn that this is a general reading, so it may not apply to everybody. But, um, let's get into it. May 2018. So, I picked a few cards of what what energy you're going to be um, in for the month of May. What cards, okay? And we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit Upright, and the Nine of Swords. So what this tells me is you holding back, you not investing into anything, you um, really taking a step back and thinking about what you are going to invest in, whether this be a creative project, whether this be a business, whether this be um, to improve your finances here, or just people in general. Um, you're not going for it, you're not going to invest, you're going to take a step back here with the hermit, or not even take a step back, but you're just going to go into this state of um, solitude, I want to say, where you're really going to think about it, you're really going to think about um, what your next step should be, okay, what's going to be for your highest good, is this decision here going to feel right so then you move forward here and the next card we have is the nine of swords so yeah with the hermit and the nine of swords you're definitely thinking you are definitely thinking about what to do next here um you have a lot on your plate and you know um And you could be going to sleep late at night because this is something that just has you all in your head and your emotions here. Um, it's a pretty big decision, at least what it feels like, that you need to make here, okay? So the energy you guys are taking on is... Um, the Hermit really stands out to me. So the Hermit... Um, if you're thinking about moving forward with the Virgo, this is you not doing it here, or this is them not investing it into you, and, um, because they cause you a lot of stress here. Okay, so I want to go on next to your life purpose, because it is awesome and very motivating to me, Leo. So, we start off with the Nine of Wands. Now, I just want to tell you guys congratulations, because wherever you guys are at, this is you fucking still putting up a fight. You've been through shit. You're f you've been damaged mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually here. But you have what's yours. You have your, um, your walls up. You have your, um what you've attained, you have it set into solid ground here, and you're holding on to what you have, okay, and the next card we have is the Eight of Swords in reverse, so fucking awesome, this is, you know, with the Nine of Wands, with the Eight of Swords reverse, this is coming out of limiting self-beliefs. Whatever um, fucked up situation you had in your childhood or um, just situations or whatever, this is you still pushing forward. This is you being strong enough to not let yourself get stuck in your thoughts and your emotions, but really pushing yourself, really proving to yourself that you can do it. You can um, make more of what shitty hand you've been dealt. Okay? So, things may be a little tough here. 
could be feeling a little worried, but you're still pushing through, Leo. You know this is just restrictions here. And this is showing me that you have been met with um, Eight of Swords energy before. You're familiar with it. You know it does no good, so you're pushing forward. Next card we have is the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, focusing on yourself. Focusing on your craft. Um, bettering yourself here. Really putting more work into your work, but doing it your way. This is this could also be you um, coming up with better ideas for work, maybe entrepreneurship. Um, you know, fixing things your way, um, having new ideas in work. Okay. And then next we have the um, Page of Wands. So this talks about new starts, new beginnings, new adventures here. Whatever um, you're putting work into here with this Eight, this eight of Pentacles, it's, it's a new creative adventure. Something that's really exciting. Something that's new. Something that's going to be really prosperous. You guys are at the beginning stages of that. Okay, it's like a new a new cycle happening here. And with the Four of Cups in reverse, you're not taking um, cards that are being dealt to you here. You've already been through that with the Eight of Swords in reverse. You know that you just don't have, you can work with what you've been dealt, but you realize that you can go out and find your own cards. You can go out and um, find your own resources. Do what you want to do. Because the next card we have is the High Priestess, so that, that deep inner knowing that you can create from just what's black and white. You're the in between. You're the you're that creative person that can really put your own color into the world. Do your own thing, okay? Whatever you're being dealt with, whatever situations black and white, the social norms you're in the middle of that. You have a great balance, and you put color into that black and white here. We have the Two of Wands next. Creating what you want to create. You, already, you are already living in your kingdom, but you want more. This is inspiring to me. This Two of Wands really pops out to me more than the High Priestess here. This is just like screaming... Um, new possibilities. This is screaming to me, um, not letting yourself be trapped, um, not letting yourself be comfortable, not letting yourself be comfortable. You want to, ex you want to excel. You've already came this far, so why not make more, okay? And with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, um, not holding on to superficial beliefs, ideas, material things, um, wanting more than just four pentacles here. You taking these pentacles and spreading them out, investing here into something more. Awesome, awesome. So as far as finances, we have um, the six of pentacles in reverse, okay? So if you're living with, um, you know, people, family members, or whatever, this could be um, either them investing to you here, or um, them not investing in a, appreciating you and the work and the shelter you give them, the food you give them, the time you give them, the support you give them, the acknowledgement you give them, okay? For finances, we also have the Emperor come up and the Queen of Swords. So 
if people are not giving the same amount you're giving to them, this calls for you to make boundaries, to draw boundaries here, because you know where you're at. You could probably be the caretaker for your family here. If you're a single parent, or um, this could be you and your wife could be an, an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini here. Um, this calls for you guys. Maybe you guys should start charging your children for rent here. Maybe this is a talk you guys have been um, talking about. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> but, um, definitely drawing boundaries here now and making things clear. Um, we also have the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords pop up here, too. So, um, yeah, maybe paying for making um, people stay for room and board here. You could be investing into a new home with a partner. Okay. And, um, and as far as your environment here, like the people you're dealing with, Libra, we are Libra, I'm sorry, Leo. We have Temperance in Reverse and the Three of Wands, so you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but the people you're dealing with, Leo, they could be really off balance, they're not making sense, they're f like fucking with your head or whatever, and um, I'm getting a feeling here, they're just waiting to see what they can get from you, okay, they're just like standing there and waiting, and this is the card of um, waiting for your ships to come in. But since Temperance is in reverse, these are people who are not balanced right. They don't have um, a good sense of give and take. So be careful of hanging out with people and um, investing more than you should, okay? Investing your resources into them, okay? Because they're just here um, trying to see what they can get from you. Okay, so let's move into the love sector. Let's start off with singles. Singles. Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Death. the noise, they never really come. Two of swords, two of pentacles. There's a decision here you need to make. A decision here you need to make from someone with the past. We have strong Scorpio here. Either this could be a decision to end things or to escalate things, really fix things here. But for now, you're really left... Um, in a very limbo state, an awkward state, where you're weighing out the pros and cons. Um, this could just be a really awkward situation from somebody with the past trying to come back and you're just here like, oh God, what do I do, okay? Um, couples. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. So things, you guys could have a little fight, okay, a little argument, but I feel like you guys are going to make up here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This talks about new beginnings, new passions. Um, someone could have just stirred up trouble just to be really passionate here, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you guys could have had some um, problems or issues or whatever, but things are going to be resolved because of this Queen of Wands here. This Queen of Wands is very helpful 
she's very good at getting things together, people together, solving situations. And she's going to bring back that um, passion and that love here to um, overcome this, this conflict, whatever this was here. This could be you, Leo, having that power um, to start something to um, forgive, to really um, find a solution for the conflict here. But whatever it is in May, um, conflict will be resolved and passion and love will be reignited here. Couples, you're looking really good here. You're looking really good to your partner. Okay. And I have two minutes left, so let's do the oracle card. So we have attachment in reverse and the third chakra here. So, oh my god, I'm so sorry about the gardener. You're really opening or really focusing or a decision really has you leaning more to um, to um, what you want to create, what's really going to stabilize you creatively. This could be having to do with um, work with love. But um, there is a sense of detachment here. And I like to see attachment in reverse because this is creativity and stability coming from its purest form here. We have next the magician in the mirror and the temple path. So with these chakra cards, they could be telling you that you need to um, focus on these chakras here. Really balance them because... Um, you don't want to be going down a path that's not good for you. You don't want to manifest things that aren't going to take you into um, places you want to go. Okay? So, I'm sorry I'm so short on time. Thank you, Leo, for watching. Have a good one.